Welcome to Stone Block 3. So, I haven't played any modded Minecraft in a few years. I think the last time I played was Project Ozone or Sky Factory. One of those, but it, I believe it was a Skyblock map. But this, uh, this mod pack just came out about two or three days ago. I've been watching a few streamers uh, stream it early access the last couple of weeks and it looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to give it a go. So basically I think this uh, sky, this is like skyblock underground. You're in a void, just a lot of stone around you and there's a quest system. And um, it's on uh, version 1.18.2. So um, I'm really excited to give this a try. Uh, Alright, with that said, let's go ahead and just start a new world. Single player. I'm going to name this. Hmm. We'll make it original. Our name, YouTube. Let's play. That's original, right? Let's go. Survival, we're going to play it on normal mode. Cheats off. Game rules, we're going to keep it all the same. So we're going to go ahead and create our world. Cool. Okay, it's working. That took a while. I was afraid it was going to just uh freeze on this joining world huh all right cool so yeah so i think uh i don't have any books or anything but i know there's a quest book when we open our inventory or no we can't even open our inventory yet oh yeah okay so the quest book is here Introduction. This mod pack is placed entirely entirely within an underground world with no surface. As you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves, and eventually a ring of nether and end. Interesting. Dungeons and caves. So it's a good thing we didn't play this in hardcore. Yes. Every player has their own dimension spawning at 0-0. Zero, zero. And has their own rings. Okay, we're playing a single player, so I don't think that would matter with us. You can teleport to another player using slash TP. Yeah, that doesn't matter. For us, since we're playing this single player, so we'll go ahead and click the check mark and get our reward. Request. No, no, more quest chapters. Oh, okay, that's it. That's, that's our reward. We got it. So now. Yes, so we've completed that. How to actually get start? How to actually start? The world server spawn is in the lobby area. Everyone spawns here, but you shouldn't stay here. To create your own dimension, go through the portal in the center. You can choose your dimension starting cave here. This also creates an FTB teams party. A lot of this is like seems like server based. Huh? A lot of people will probably play this on a server. Hmm. Joining another player's party will send you to their dimension. Once you're in the party, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> Individual events like loot B and stick can be toggled on and off using events toggle event name. That one I don't get, but okay, got it. Quest completed. We are starting. Okay, so we've done this. I don't think there's anything else on this thing so getting so we did welcome so i guess if it's green it's completed getting started oh baby quest get break some stone with your bear oh yeah okay so first now we need to go through the portal all right so i think once we go here we're gonna choose why is this missing okay that's the design all right let's go ahead and jump in here okay we're gonna go ahead and choose the original Although the lush house looks nice, the drippy cave, caves, we'll do the original because we're basic. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, we have joined the party of ourselves. Now we have the quest book, but we've been messing with the quest book already, right? All right, so first things we need to do is... Um, I wonder if we could put this in a uh, hotkey. Let's see. Controls, keybinds. 
we can search for quest cool oh yeah i did put that okay cool so when i do this test world it saves the settings so this is a quest okay got it nice all right so now we're just gonna punch this and create pebbles rock and stone we got one quest completed we got to make sure we, we punch it with a bare hand. If we're using this, we don't get any pebbles. So we have to punch the the stone with a bare hand because, you know, that's just how it is. Okay, so let me grab a few of these. Maybe a stack. All right, just a little bit over a stack there. So we'll go ahead and complete this and see what kind of reward we're going to get. So this is our first completed quest with a reward, a random reward. Break some stone with your bare hands alone in a cave with nothing but rocks. What's what's a better use of your time than punching them? <laughs> Mining stone with your bare fist results in dropping stone pebbles, which can be crafted into cobblestone. Can be eaten if for whatever reason you would want to huh let's eat this one then just want to see oh i gotta be hungry then okay interesting so it that's kind of food that's food hmm. all right sorry let's go see what reward we have a book okay nice but where oh just a book right here okay hey a realistic logical ideologist a realistic, a realistic, logical ideologist. I've messed with Botania a while. It gets pretty overpowered, if I remember correctly. Okay, we'll put that here. Then we'll keep on going. See what our next thing is. Crafting table. So, a few recipes. Oh, okay. Crafting table made out of cobblestone. So, cobblestone we can make from pebbles easy so we need four we'll just turn all this into cobblestone 16 cobblestone let's go okay we'll finish that let's see what kind of reward we're gonna pick get this time without wood make do with stone or cobblestone be cra can be crafted into a crafting table got it netherite Furnace? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's actually a good reward, right? I'm not going to drop it because I don't know if I can pick it back up. I'm going to leave it here. I want to see what the recipe is for that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's a really good reward. Okay, we are going to keep that in an inventory and not use it until, because I don't know if I can pick it up without any good tools or not. So we're going to make a crook and a stone hammer. I'll put this here for now in the corner. Okay, can we make a pickaxe? Haha, let's just see. Ah, uh, rip. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's see. So we need a crook and a hammer. How do you make a crook? Stone crook. Okay, just like a regular crook then. And then how about the hammer? So like that. Got it. How about a hammer? Right? This one? Okay. Boom. We'll turn this into cobblestone as well. Alright, let's go get our rewards. Give me something good again. Common pet backpack. That'll be good. Yes. What about this? Hammer down. Make a stone hammer. 
basic item collector okay dude the, uh the first one was really good this one is good i guess that's good as well but let's see how this opens up um pretty cool so we can probably put these things there we'll put our rewards in here and yeah can we put this in our back how do i uh yeah so how do i open it though i don't know how to open it it's okay we'll do it later we'll take it out and put it here for now cool so what are we doing next got all that sapling okay how do we get a sapling hmm and a site okay get seeds let's start with a sapling because we want i guess wood right we can get wood it's gonna be wood block you can get saplings from mining dirt with a crook okay how do i get dirt using a crook on dirt has a chance of dropping any of these seeds seed items you can see the chance for each and rei i guess rei is the G, the old jei right this thing is rei what's this change log oh, okay thanks so how do we make dirt that's the question crafting compost red sand and slag automated sh hmm. hammering oh and i got it so we have to use our hammer then right so we use our hammer to turn let's see i'm gonna guess Can I turn this into a, let's see. Aha, okay. It's kind of like that old sky factory thing, the hammer. Okay, now we have gravel, but let's see. How do we make it with a hammer? Gravel turns into dirt. Okay, got it. There we go. We got dirt. Let's go. Okay. So let me uh, let me get a few dirt. I'll I'll get about two stacks or so, and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I got about almost a stack of dirt but there's this thing down there and then i got this message on the screen that said hurry up get the loot before it despawns a loot bee has spawned at one negative eight so i think it's like eight blocks underground let's try to find it and see what it is oh i got it nice okay we got a mystical white flower and a chance cube. Morning is recommended you don't open these next to your base. Okay, we'll do that later. Ho ho ho. We'll put that in our backpack actually. Put this and this in our backpack. Okay, nice. So we have dirt. Now let's try to get a sapling. I want an oak sapling and a seed for food. So let's see how does how does that work again? We'll, we'll go for seed first. Use a crook on dirt. Okay. How about this? Mining dirt with a crook. Mining dirt with a crook. What's the difference? Uh, well, we'll just we'll just see. Okay, that's it. The same thing. We got both, then. It's pretty simple so we will get the reward okay so we got everything nice but with wheat seeds carrots potatoes melon pumpkin and beetroot nice pretty much done with farming saplings okay let's see what kind of saplings we're gonna get redstone upgrade okay we'll put that in our backpack redstone upgrade these 
How do we make a backpack? Are we able to make one of those yet? No, we cannot. How do we make a chest? Okay, so we have these now. We could start. I uh, wonder if twerking is a thing here. Let's uh, pop this in here. We, we got lucky. We got oak. That's really good. That's what I wanted. So twerking before was just. Oh yeah, it is. It's a thing. Yes, cool. And also, um. So we do the crook. We also have ultimine. It used to be vein miner way back in the day. I guess it's called ultimine now, which helps a lot. But we have to use a, an axe. I don't think it works with this with our bare hand. Nope. Yeah. So we need to make an axe. Let's make an axe, shall we? Yep, that works. And we should have more saplings. Okay, so what I'll do now is let's go check out what we have. All right. Oh, we got dirt and we got gravel. We can get sand, dust, and and oh, and a second. So we'll do these real fast. We'll get the reward. Compressed dirt. Nice. Compressed gravel. <laughs> nice. Okay, all in one compressed dirt. Beautiful. So we can make sand by doing, uh, I think, dirt and then dust that way. Oh, we got wood as well. Very cool. Oh, we're taking this. Definitely. Nice. How much did we get? Very cool. Okay. We're moving right along, huh? Sieves. Never heard of them. Make a millstone setup. Tinkers interesting okay so right now what i'm going to do before i work on more of the quest items i'm just going to get a bunch of wood and then break this area a little bit more so we're at a what how big is this one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four we're at a nine by nine right now i'm just going to expand this bigger and then make some torches with our wood that we're going to collect and then I'll be right back. So I'm going to expand this from a 9x9 nine nine to maybe a, I don't know, 15x15 15 15 or something and light up the area. And yeah, I'll be right back in a few minutes. Okay, we are back. Cleared up some area a little bit. Put our chest in this corner. Moved it from here. We're making more stone. Cleared up some stuff here. And yeah, so let's see. What are we going to do next? Let's try... Where am I at? Oh, okay. So we up. These are all new. Okay. I don't know what green means. I think that means we've done something. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. I want to try to get most of this done. I don't know if I can get most of it done today. Probably not. But at least let's get this going and at least finish. Get to andesite. Okay. Let's do this first. So I got the sand by breaking a dirt with a hammer. So let's go get that sand, break it with a hammer and we should get dust. Yes. So now we can collect those two rewards. Okay. So we get one compressed sand. I'm assuming we have one compressed uh, dust. Just one dust. Okay. All right, so then now we did this. What is what is a millstone? Interesting. Okay, well, we've done most of these things. I want to see how to get andesite. If you mine either up or down far enough, up or down far enough, you'll reach a layer of andesite. Okay, so it's just a bunch of mining. Beyond, beyond that is deep slate, and only then is there bedrock. So up and down, you go... Click here for more information. The overworld portion of the map is separated into five slices split by Y levels. Okay. The center slice is made out of stone 55 blocks tall above and below Y0. Uh, above and below that, there are 20 block tall slices of andesite. 
Above and below that are 53 blocks tall layer of deep slate. Ooh, so we have to go down or up 55 blocks to get andesite. All right, we're going to probably do that on our next stream. So this will, the stone layers, we need to, oof, so we need to go 55 down and then another 20 to get deep slate. So before we do that, I think what we need to do is uh, go in here and so it's not sieving it's called millstone okay we will probably do this on the next episode we've been going for a little while i think for the next episode we'll get the millstone set up going and then try to get resources that way to get better tools and then try to get andesite from there and maybe get this going as well yeah i think that's good so that is a good first episode of making these episodes i don't know how long or short that is depending on how i edit it but hopefully not too long and hopefully you guys like it and yeah see you guys again next time bye